Hi guys, welcome to Parent Playhouse. My name is April. This is the Puff Man, my white belly kayak. And today's video is going to be on why parrots scream. They're screaming for help. And many of the times we just think that they're just trying to annoy us, but in fact, they need something from us. Something is wrong. And that's why we have to do our detective skills and get to the bottom of the screaming. Did you know that screaming is the number one reason why captive parrots are given up? It is. And it's the number one reason why people abuse their parrots. I know they do. Like the screaming makes people go crazy. And if you don't get to the bottom of the screaming, Yes, the bottom of the screaming. And the reason why you're screaming is because I'm fired up. It can become a habit. Don't do any of the things that I'm doing in the video because I had to like show you what not to do, right? And so basically the puff man was not happy, but then we show you what to do. So do those. Okay, bye guys, watch the video. He's undressing me, oh my God. Every bird owner has had that moment where they thought they were gonna lose their minds with all the screaming coming out of that tiny little parrot. How is it even possible? And then there can be scary silence. The silence where you wonder, what are they up to? You didn't share with you? You're just watching this happen? Birds scream when they are bored. They are crying for help. Covering your bird all day is abuse and it'll only escalate the screaming. There you go. No. I know. It's no bueno. There, you're good for 24 hours. Rewarding your parrot with treats will reinforce that screaming. They will scream constantly for more treats. Take it off, take it off. You want all these? You can have them all. Just, I just say, quiet, here, here's some more. Oh, please, please give me a break. There we go, there we go. Take it all, take it. You have the whole bag. There we go, good boy, good, good. When your parrot is quiet, that's when you want to reward them with a treat. Hide where your parrot can't see you, wait for that quiet moment, and then get that treat ready and say, good boy. Yelling at your parrot to stop screaming is abusive and it will reinforce the screaming. Please, I'm trying to do my lipstick. Look what you did. Just try not to make any noise. No, it's no bueno, man. It's no bueno. I can't concentrate. Ready? Birds should be free in the wild. Why? Oh, Not in captivity, but they're here. Get that energy out of them. Exercise them. Have some fun with them. You're so funny. Load their cages up with toys. Give them plenty to do. Birds are intelligent. They need toys that will mentally stimulate them, keep them busy. And they love to destroy things bite into wood, figure out what your bird loves, and buy a ton of it. Do you get puffy when you get scared? Do you like puff? I think a lot of this huffing and a puffing puffy does is because he's trying to look big. So when birds get scared, they get all big and they puff up like, like puffy does. Like, Birds scream when they are scared. It could be the family dog, it could be a hawk, a piece of furniture. It could be someone across the street doing construction. You have to do your oh, detective skills man. and figure out what is scaring your bird. If you don't, that screaming can become a habit. Make your birds feel safe and secure, and I guarantee it, that screaming will go down. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Oh, stranger danger. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. Hormones are a huge reason why birds scream. During nesting season, it is hard enough for your birds to get through that time of year with all these confusing feelings that they have. So you want to avoid areas like their back, 
underneath their wing when you're petting them. Definitely don't touch their bottom. Don't pull their tail. Don't play with their beak. That just confuses them and makes them want to scream for you. They will keep screaming. Even another bird touching a bird in certain places can trigger those hormones and make them go wild, which means more screaming coming out of your parrot. Too much fat in a bird's diet, especially during nesting season, will make them want to produce. Their hormones will go crazy in the wild when there's a lot of food, a lot of water. What do animals do? What do birds do? They want to make babies. So you really want to watch their diet, especially during nesting season. You want to control the amount of fat that you give your birds. Increase those veggies, as many veggies as they want and less fruit. The more sugar, the more those hormones go crazy, and yes, screaming. Sleep, oh my gosh, sleep is so big. It's huge. They need 10 to 12 hours every night. If birds don't have enough sleep, their hormones go crazy. These birds are a lot like toddlers. Well, what do toddlers do when they don't get enough sleep? They scream. It's the same with birds. So you need to cover those cages. They need a room where there's no noise. They don't need to hear the video games going or you chattering. They need quiet. Jealousy of another bird or human can make a bird scream. Oh! Whoa! It's getting jealous because I'm with you? Yes? And Quinn's getting jealous? Because you're with me. There's so much happening right now. Thomas is getting jealous. Oh. <laughs> they both love him. There's this jealousy. Why do love trying to... You pulling on my hair? And Cora is screaming because she's jealous. Oh! I'm right here. Can't I like hang out? The jealousy stings. It happens. It really happens. If your bird is screaming because it is jealous, yeah. this is where you get guys. those two birds close to each other, but not too close where they can fight. And this is where you reward them with treats. Distract them with that treat. Let them know when they behave like this and they don't scream, they get the treats. If they're screaming because they're jealous of a human, have that human give your parrot its favorite treat. That human will become the treat dispenser. You want birdie brittle <laughs> from Christine's Stop Shop? Good boy. Birds scream and can be acting up because they need help because they are sick. So this is where you want to pay attention to their body language. Look for signs of illness. Is your bird fluff? Does your bird's feathers look dull? Does your bird's eyes, do they not look bright? Can they barely open their eyes? Look at the crop. Is their crop going down when they eat or is it just sitting there? These are all really good things to look for. Smell your bird's breath. Look at your bird's poop. How does it look? Does it have an odd color to it? Does it have a bad odor to it? This is when Victoria was really sick before her hysterectomy. This is where you want to keep a journal and weigh your birds every week. Document that weight. Make it fun. This is where you can give them a treat. And if they are gaining weight, then you probably need to call your vet and see if they need to go on a diet. If they are losing weight, that could mean that they are not feeling well and another good reason to call your avian veterinarian or your exotic vet. But at the end of the day, make that scale fun for them. What did you think about this video? You better not poop on me. You better not poop on me. No. We sure had fun making it. And the birds are screaming because I'm like, it's so because we had fun making that video. I sure hope it helps a lot of you and I could go on and on and on about the many reasons why parrots are screaming. They're screaming for help. They need your help. Please subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. 
hit that notification bell so you can see when we upload soon. So I gotta go. My parrots are trying to tell me something. They're all screaming. Do you need help? Do you need help? Do you need help? It's like, it's like chirping code. What is it? What is it? All right, Puffy needs help. We gotta go. Bye. I think he needs a Nutriberry.